Good afternoon, TikTok and YouTube family. I'm over here in Jerry, trying to get some tools together here and fix a wire that is broke on this trailer. I've been, um, I've been um, having tra light issues with this truck. I blew a 30 amp fuse uh, a couple days ago when I was under that load. Went to the shop. They said, oh, it's your pigtail on the front of your trailer needs to be replaced. So they put a pig new pigtail on, which could have been it. Highly doubt it, though. But they are lazy and they want to actually do their job and test things because everything was snowy and this wasn't, you know, wasn't feasible for them to climb underneath and start looking for stuff because they didn't want to get wet. So with that being said, I uh, got half half done job. Whatever was easiest for them to get stuff done. And they're like, oh, it's good. No. Within the next day, I blew a fuse again. Same fuse. So I told them it was a short day. He said, no, it's this. So now I got me a new um, pigtail, which is about two feet almost three feet shorter than what I need to have. So I went to the yard and got another pigtail, which they gave me. So I'll have to put on later at a different time. But right now, I, uh, sometimes it's just cheaper to go find the, go find what you need and do it yourself because you just can't always rely on people. And on top of that, it's faster. Instead of waiting in a shop for 30, five to six hours for them to call you in to get fixed. It, it, uh, it could be a lot faster to just do it yourself and be on down the road. So, my mogul lights on the front of the trailer, the neck, the tail lights, the license plate, and the three lights in the center will not walk. Everything else will walk every time I blew that fuse. So, I figured it was short somewhere. And sure enough, it was the wire, it's broke. That's the wire it's supposed to be connected to. That's my license plate wire.
But anyway, the, the point I'm trying to say is sometimes you just need to get your tools, carry a little bit of tools with you so you can fix stuff yourself and not be sitting at a shop for five or six hours. Or, on top of that, uh, Looks like the lights are walking up here. Uh, if you have to fix it out on the road and you know well nail a shop, you can do it yourself and get on down the road without having issues. I, think I still have an issue. Because I have lights, but I don't have no signal. That light's walking. I think I maybe maybe blew a few already again. Because everything was working. Now it's not working. So I didn't have enough fuses or a low fuse to put into it, so I had to use a small fuse. And I didn't even know. So, I think I blew a fuse. I figured that would happen. Oh. Because I didn't have the right fuse. Why fuse for the, for the fuse I need? But that's what I'm doing this morning, well, afternoon actually, get this thing fixed, and so I can get, let me show you how that feels I need a pick up some, I need a little of these days, but, It's still a little cold out, but it ain't bad. It ain't too bad out. Let's see here. Fuse in. Lights are back on. Let's see. Here you go. That fixed the problem. Because I had a 20 amp. Yeah, the side mobile lights walking now. And I'm still having issues somewhere. Because I'm still blowing fuses. So, we got more problems than just that. As soon as I. Ah, well, I gotta keep walking on it. Talk to you guys in a little bit. Good afternoon, everyone, and happy. Thanksgiving. Just want to wish everybody happy Thanksgiving and uh, safe travels if you're out on the road. I am right now at my parents' house for Thanksgiving and um, we'll be back out on the road on Sunday. Uh, I got a load going up to uh, Virginia and then I got a load from there going to Covington, Georgia, uh, Covington Kentucky. So until then, good afternoon everyone. I'm over here in uh, Savannah, Georgia. Uh, pick up a load in the morning and uh, it's going to Lynchburg uh, Virginia so um, had an okay Thanksgiving um, but got a lot done with the truck um, kind of get everything organized and walked on 
so it's more feasible. Uh, I did get my ladder mounted on the outside, and it's locked down. And then I got my uh, Christmas out on the front. And then I'm going to be doing a, uh, uh, we organize a little bit more on the inside, on the front. Uh, walk on this area here. I do got my table completely set up and uh, good. Um, I got a new cooler, freezer, and then my fridge is there. And then I installed a new table and I just got laundry and stuff underneath it. My microwave, my uh, toaster oven, and then I added a whole new shelf across the top with a whole bunch of food and canned goods and stuff like that. So it's coming along slowly. Um, I gotta walk on a little bit more here. But other than that, it, it's it's coming. Uh, I ate my first meal in the truck tonight, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna start eating in the truck, cooking in the truck instead of eating out all the time, which will save some money. Uh, I figure I'll probably bring my budget in half, spending about four hundred dollars. Yeah, four hundred dollars a month. I'll probably spend about two hundred dollars a month. So, but that's the update right now. Like I said, I load in the morning and I go to uh, Lynchburg, Virginia. Once I unload that, I shoot over to Bland, Virginia, pick up a generator, and it's going to Covington, Georgia, um, Covington, Kentucky, over there by Cincinnati. And um, after that, I don't know where I'm going, but that's uh, the that's, uh, plan right now. Good afternoon, everyone. We'll you guys Thanks for coming and watching my videos. Please like and share and comment below. I like to talk to y'all. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you.